Keeping the rise in global temperature to below 2 degrees Celsius requires deep decarbonization of our energy systems. The power, industrial, transportation, and the built environment sectors must all switch to cleaner zero carbon fuels. It's complex and will take time. This is how. Now we rely too much on fossil fuels. Most transportation fuel is made from crude oil. Energy intensive industrial processes and power plants rely on gas and coal. Natural gas powers heating in homes and offices in many parts of the world. Change is coming and in leading countries by 2035. Low carbon technologies and energy storage are delivering 24 hour electricity. Industry emissions are being captured, compressed and safely stored. Blue hydrogen is being produced using steam methane reforming with CO2 from the process also captured and stored. Some captured CO2 is being turned into green fuels and ammonia for transportation. And the water sector is ramping up its output of sustainable green fuels from wastewater treatment. Gas networks are blending natural gas and hydrogen. Electric heat pumps are common. And buildings are more energy efficient. Excess low carbon electricity from wind, solar, wave, hydro, and nuclear plants is powering electrolyzers to produce cleaner green hydrogen. Cars and light goods vehicles are mostly electric. Hydrogen fuel cells are common in trucks, buses, and trains. In the sky, long-haul aircraft are switching to cleaner fuels. By 2050, the transformation to zero carbon energy is almost complete, with even slow movers following in the footsteps of pace setter nations. Low carbon sources are supplying two thirds of primary energy. Green hydrogen is produced at scale globally and is a common energy carrier. Direct air capture plants are providing CO2 feedstock for the chemical industry to produce sustainable fuels helping to deliver a cleaner aviation industry. A net zero energy system is possible.